The question you guys ask the most, by far, is about the funding percentage of the real estate investments on our German real dot estate marketplace. You guys really want to know what this percentage means exactly and especially if the property developments will even happen if we do not reach 100%. This showed us that we didn't do a good job in explaining the funding percentage to you guys. So let's do that now in this German real dot estate wiki. If the property developments wouldn't happen if we do not reach 100%, none of the projects would happen, unfortunately, because you can see that the maximum is 91% currently and the average is a little over 60%. So if you would like to help us reach the first 100% project, which I would very much appreciate, check out the link in the description to our German real dot estate marketplace. The hardest candidate for 100% is currently the Kühnquart here in Leipzig with 12% fixed interest rate plus 18% profit share when the property is being constructed and sold which is probably not gonna take that long anymore because the construction looks like this currently. And as some of you have found it on the internet already, Kühnquartier is currently being sold in individual flats to investors, which is perfect and actually what is supposed to happen because the issuer has to pay back us investors and therefore he needs to construct and sell the property. So this answers the question already that we do not need 100% funding before the project will happen or the construction will start. But what does it mean then? 100% is what the issuer of the real estate security, a property developer most of the time, would like to have. Why? Because bank financing sucks. And every one of you who applied for a mortgage before knows what I'm talking about. In the case of Kölnquartier, the developer wants 100,000 euros. And if we fill that 100,000 euros, which hopefully happens very shortly, then we would discuss with the property developer if he is happy with that or if he would like to have more funds from us and less funds from the bank. We'll talk why a property developer would want that in a minute. First, let's see if that's even possible. Yes, otherwise I wouldn't talk about it. And we've touched on the four legal documents in the video just a couple of weeks ago. And they state in the case of Kühnquartier, it's 100,000 euros, but the issuer can increase to 999,999 ,999 euros if he wants to. Why 999,999? ,999? ,999? Because this is one of the two regulatory barriers if you issue financial securities. The other one is 8 million and after that it's virtually unlimited. Maybe one example so you know what kind of different rules we have in the different barriers. With the 1 million securities, which is actually 999,999 euro security, a single investor could purchase everything if he wanted to. There's no maximum investment, except the million of course. With the 8 million euro security, like our community portfolio for example, the maximum investment per person is capped at 25,000 euros. Don't ask me why that is, I'm not a regulator and I don't understand it myself to be honest. I just know that there's the single investor maximum in our security laws. The Einzelanlageschwelle im Vermögensanlagengesetz. Would the issuer of the Kühnquartier or any other property developer increase from the current whatever hundred of thousand to the one million if we reach a hundred percent? Maybe but probably not by a large amount of money because the property is already planned and construction started anyway. No property developer will spontaneously fund a couple of hundred thousand euros more on our platform and add two floors to the building. That's not gonna happen. But in our community portfolio, which is currently at 320,000 euros, it will indeed increase slowly but steadily up to the 8 million maximum with every property we add to the portfolio. And that goes to show you what I say all the time. Every single real estate security is different because it has a different strategy. The property developments are set constructions. The developer funds X euros on our platform, constructs the building, you guys get your interest rate, when the construction is finished the developer sells the property and you guys get your profit share. Done. Our community portfolio works different because we buy more and more properties to the portfolio the more you guys invest. And with every property being added to the portfolio, the maximum funding increases as well until we reach the 8 million maximum. And a little sneak peek of what I would like to have as soon as possible, when we have enough investors. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. 
I would like to have a Berlin portfolio, Frankfurt portfolio, Stuttgart portfolio, Munich portfolio and so on. Because then if you guys find any city exciting and would like to invest there, you can do that super easily with our real estate securities. And you are instantly diversified as well because you buy into an entire portfolio in this city. Let me know what you think about that. I think that would be absolutely awesome. Let's summarize. First, the project will happen even if we don't reach 100% funding percentage, which is hopefully a topic we don't have to discuss that often anymore because we're able to fill 100% with each and every single security as our investor base grows. That's what I would like to have, that's what the property developers would like to have as well and you guys too because that allows us to issue more investment opportunities for you guys. Second. The funding percentage is pretty flexible depending on how much money the issuer needs. Within the regulatory barriers of course. A 999,999 euro security cannot become an 8 million security. That's not possible. Increasing a million euro security from 200,000 to 600,000 or even to the maximum of 999,999 euros is possible but not more. Increasing our 320,000 euro community portfolio to 8 million is possible as well, but not more. And third, the funding percentage has no influence on your personal investment. The fixed interest rate is paid to you investors no matter what the funding percentage is. If it's 69%, you will get your fixed interest rate and if it's 100%, you will also get your fixed interest rate. And the same goes for the profit share. The only difference is for the property developer. That if only 50% of the security are funded, he has to pay only 50% in interest and profit share to the 50% of investors. Which makes sense, right? If Köln Quartier stays at 100,000 euros funding maximum and 91,100 euro is what you guys invest, then every investor will get a 12% annual interest rate on his investment as well as 18% profit share. Let's say, just as an example to make it easy. This is far from reality, as you can probably imagine, given the size of the Köln Quartier. But let's imagine the profit share would be 100,000 euros in total. Just as an example, one euro profit share for every one euro security. Then 91,100 euro would be paid to investors, meaning they double their money just with the profit share alone. And the issuer would keep the other 8,900 euro because there's no investors. But it's just an example. Hopefully that answers the most asked question about the funding percentage. Happy investing everyone and hopefully we can reach the first 100% project soon.